What's going on guys, Nasve here today, and today's tutorial is actually going to be on how to make BO2 PC cinematics. I honestly can't remember the last time I made a tutorial, and I thought I should make one just to show you guys this, but today's tutorial is going to be on how to make BO2 PC cinematics on the cracked version of BO2, which is called BO2 Redacted. Now before you do anything, I would go to this website right here. I am not the founder of this website, um, two people named Lucky and Mopem are. They made this awesome BO2 console for PC cinematics on the cracked version of BO2, so this will not work on the Steam version. If you want the Steam version um, BO2 console, just go to like Dare Rico or someone else in the editing community that has a BO2 console that works for the Steam version because this version does not work for Steam. It only works for cracked, the, the cracked version of BO2. So uh, download this, and as you can see, I have it on my desktop right here. And I have three configs that I'm going to show an example of. So what you want to do with all four of these files is go into your program files, go, I'm going to go into mine. It should be in program files, not x86, but people's computers are different. So uh, I'm going to go to my Black Ops 2. And then I'm going to drag all of these files into my directory. Yes, do this for all current items. And uh, I'm just going to leave this folder open for now because I will need to open this in a minute. So I'm going to go to Black Ops 2. As you see, it's by redacted, so it is correct. Okay. Click online. Let it connect for a minute. Okay. So I'm not going to actually go into custom games. I have a clip already recorded in theater. So I'm going to go to theater, select a film. And I already have this game on standoff where I used an M27 and kind of walked across this little platform, this road right here. If you guys can see where that's highlighted at. So I'm going to click on this and start film. But if you guys are wondering how to like what game to create in custom games, just do time unlimited and score unlimited and just run around and end the game. So, load this film in real quick. It'll take a minute. <sighs> okay, so when the game starts up, obviously you want to pause it so you can figure out what you're going to do. So you want to press space to pause and then F3 twice to get out of the, this camera view right here. F3 twice, and then I'm gonna move real quick, and then press F2 to toggle the HUD, so you can't see the names of anybody. So I'm gonna wait a minute until this guy starts to move. I played this, I uh, created this game like not even an hour ago. So I'm gonna follow him over here. Okay, starts walking right there. So to turn down the time scale on this, uh, just go to your arrow key, down arrow key, and then keep pressing it. Um, it only goes to two for me. I don't really know how to change that because I'm kind of new to this. So what you want to do is press escape and then go back to your redacted BO2 console and open it as administrator. I don't think you have to do this, but I just do it anyway just because. So you open that and try to remember the names of your configs because it will definitely help or you can leave the folder open if you really want to. So on the website, it does say that you have to enter a devar followed by a value to set the console. So what that means, for example, I'm gonna put in CG underscore FOV to like, um, let's say 100, for example. And it says process command. And that just changed my FOV. So obviously, I'll show you. It's really slow right now because I put it to a really um, high FOV. So. What I'm going to do now is load in one of the configs. So go execute space. I'm going to do Rico's config. So the Rico um, CFG dot CFG. And it says successfully executed config. So you want to minimize this, press escape. And as you can see, this is a nice depth of field cinematic right here. Really nice view. And um, what I'm going to do now is go back to the console and put in cg underscore fov to like maybe 30. Process command, cool, minimize and go back to it. So what we're gonna do now is switch to edit camera mode. And this is really fidgety if you're not used to using a mouse. 
So what I'm going to do really quick is change this back to CG underscore FOV 100 so it's not as fidgety. As you guys can see now it's kind of smooth and I can um, toggle with my uh, mouse and keyboard more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple cinematic. Just put a camera um, marker right here, play it for a little bit, speed up this a little bit. stops right there. I'm gonna put a little camera marker right in front of his face. It's like right right about there. Let's see what that does. So what you want to do now is go into dolly cam and go back by pressing the left arrow key on your keyboard and fast forward it until you get to that point. Okay until you get to that point where you're about to start it what you do is press F4 to toggle the controls and press escape again, go back to the console, and then type in cg underscore fov, and let's say 30, press this command, okay. So whenever your uh, markers get detected by the timeline, it will start playing through, and I'll show you what this looks like right now. So I press space, and as you can see, it's a really, really nice config. So that was really close, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back that up a little bit, Follow the controls and then go up again, and then go down again, follow the controls and then press escape, go back to the console and I'm going to do like CG underscore FOV, let's say 50, just like bring it out a little bit, minimize, go press escape to go back to the game and then press space and as you can see that looks so much better. So if you want to record these cinematics, I would recommend either using Fraps or I'm actually using my Elgato software right now, as you can see, to record this tutorial. So I'm gonna minimize this again. And um, that's basically it so far. And if you wanna load in other configs, I'll actually try to load in other configs real quick. I'm gonna press F4, go back, go back to my time marker. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, press escape, go back to the console, and I'm gonna enter a devar again just in case. I'm gonna do CG underscore FOV 100 again, process command, and then I'm gonna do execute. If you guys remember that uh, clean config in my folder, do clean.cfg. Successfully, ex successfully executed config, and this is what it looks like now. So what I'm gonna do now is before that um, time marker gets detected by the timeline, press escape, CG underscore FOV and let's do 40 just for fun. So minimize escape and then toggle F4, uh, F4 to take that away, press space, and that's what it should look like. Now some configs do have time scales on them, so if it's not as fast as when you're fast forwarding it in your timeline, like if you were to put it up and it was like still really slow, that would be why. But um but yeah, that's kind of it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of new to this. I'll probably make an updated tutorial in the future, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, and I'll probably leave a download link to those configs in the description, along with the website to download this BO2 console by Lucky. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.